Hi guys, my name is Helmut, that's Riyad. To do that, Uso gehört as my salmon, we have to fillet it at first. It's not that easy, but I use a bread knife or a saw knife. Go right in there. In the middle is a bone. We have to keep the knife on the bone. So as long as you feel the knife going along the bone, you're pretty right. I can feel it beautiful. So I've got the first side. It's not a bad job. You see how smooth it is. Looks good to me. What do you reckon, Riyad? Good very job? Good. Looks very good. Okay, okay, you have to say that. <laughs> good idea, man. <laughs> now we have to trim the salmon. I get rid of the bounce in there. In the middle here, still got a few bounce in there, if you can see them. So I run my fingers along the bounce to lift them out a little bit. Now we marinate the salmon fillets. We got here sea salt. Just we use the skin of orange, lemon, brown sugar, and we chop some dill. We mix all together. We put a little bit of the of the mix on the bottom. Beautiful. Now we put a little bit on top as well. Make sure it's covered nicely. Perfect. So we used up all the mixture. Okay, we got some Greek uso here. We marinated the salmon now. Now we rolled out some cat wrap here. We we have to press it, so we put a chopping board or something heavy on top, maybe a few few tins or cans or something like that. And then after one day, turn it over, press it again, and it should be ready after two days. Then it should be a curd salmon and you're ready to go. Okay, like I said before, I marinate the salmon for two to three days, like that. You see the orange zest on the salt, the sugar, the dill, or everything is still here. We wipe most of the marinade off. It's ready to carve. When you cut the salmon, make sure you cut it nice and thin, please. Very important. Finish up the plate. It's just a beautiful dish. If you have a look at it, it's just very colorful and nice. Love it.